So the meatball factory, actually some investors and partners approached me and said, we want to do a meatball project. And I said, well, I'm happy to do it, but I want to do it my way. Susan Blonde has been on board since the inception and you know, it's it's been a good relationship. I've worked with a lot of press and PR people and you know, it's a lot of fluff from time to time and people that say they can do these things and they don't fully really produce results. So in this case, you know, I feel like we've gotten some good results out of the gate and we have a lot more to do, but we're off to a good start. and. You know, I'm very pleased with them as a PR firm. The campaign we launched with Susan Blonde started about a month ago, so we kept it really tight till the opening. So, you know, we've got a lot now, and I think there's just going to be more of a build and more momentum as, you know, the brand is out there, people find out about it, people come in, more people want to know. You know, they'll continue the contacts and, you know, building other relationships or, you know, getting us, you know, whether it's TV spots. We just launched in the taxis today. Ever since I found out I was pregnant, the cravings have been out of control. And one thing I wanted more than anything else is meat. So today I am on a meatball mission for my little meatball. And we are starting off at the brand new meatball factory at 2nd Avenue and 14th Street. You know, I'm very pleased with them as a PR firm. And, you know, I don't say that I've never done a promotional piece about a PR firm because normally they take your money and run. So, you know, we're happy with the relationship and we want to continue uh, where we're headed. So meatballs 101, here's a quick tip for making meatballs at home. One, use premium quality ingredients. Know where your meats are coming from. Uh, two, it's all about the claw method. It's the old Italian thing, claw method. Don't really overwork your meat, kind of like you don't want to overwork a dough. I kind of call them like doughs and batters. That's kind of what we're working with. When it comes to sauces, it doesn't just have to be marinara. So try different things like a truffle cream or try a peanut sauce. You'll just The flavors are just so fun. So be inventive. Try something different and have fun at home.